Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Boylan. We're going to use this simulation to help us better understand electron configurations in orbital notation. Really makes some sense of those past couple of videos. It really takes some practice to understand how some of those rules apply to electron configurations. So as you take a look at your guided practice, the first element that you're working with there is hydrogen. I'm going to take a quick peek at my periodic table, zoom in on hydrogen, and notice that it has an atomic number of one. And although the atomic number will always tell me number of protons, in a neutral atom, it will also tell me number of electrons, which is what I'm focused on when I'm trying to draw the electron configuration for the elements. Now to show you how this works, since we're just starting out, I'm gonna use a slightly modified periodic table. This periodic table has the orbitals overlaid onto the periodic table. When you're trying to write electron configurations, you always want to start at the top by hydrogen and move your way through the rows until you arrive at the element that you're working with. In this example, I'm trying to build the electron configuration for hydrogen. So I'm going to start up here and move through the rows until I get to hydrogen. I'm already there. As I try to describe the location of the electrons or the electron configuration for hydrogen, I'm first going to draw just a line to represent the first orbital. Then I'm going to put the number one indicating the first main energy level and the letter S to indicate that the first sublevel is the S shape. Now I've only moved into one box, which indicates that I've only got one electron. I'm going to use an arrow to represent that electron. I'm going to point it in the up direction. So this is my orbital notation. So this is my electron configuration in orbital notation for hydrogen. It's single electron is in the first main energy level in an S-shaped orbital. Now, let's use this simulation to help us better visualize what that means. I'm gonna start with a 1S orbital. Again, this just describes the three-dimensional region of space where I'll most likely find my electron. For hydrogen, I only have one electron. And as you look at your screen, it's sort of flying around in that region of space. As I add electrons in this simulation, it indicates that by the arrow here, on the right hand side. So here we have hydrogen. Boom. 